how will they now have Xbox and PC Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass, from now I'll just refer to them as Xbox, dedicated servers. Previously, it was just Steam players that had dedicated servers that could keep them running 24-7, whether you're hosting them yourself for free or paying a hosting company to do so. Now, Xbox players as well can have their servers up 24-7 if they wish and choose to either host it for themselves for free or pay an online website to do it for them. In this quick video, I'll show you how you can migrate your existing Steam server for PowerWorld to the Xbox version, as it's just a tiny bit of text that you need to change quite literally. If you'd like a full Xbox dedicated server guide, check the description down below for how to do that. So let's begin. Over here, I have my PC where I'll be hosting the server completely for free. In fact, following the dedicated server setup guide in the description down below, here is my PowerWorld dedicated server. In order to allow Xbox players to join this, Xbox Game Pass, Xbox console and PC Game Pass players, right-click PowerWorld dedicated server, choose manage and browse local files. If you downloaded the PowerWorld server through something like Steam CMD, navigate across to the files and if you're using an online website to host your server, you'll need to either FTP in or somehow do it via the website. I'm not too sure what you could be using, but anyways, navigate across to where your server is installed. Then head to PAL, followed by saved, then config and Windows server or Linux server Server, depending on what setup you're running. Inside of this folder, you should find PalWorldSettings.ini. Open this with any text editor. To allow Xbox players to join the server, all you need to do is look for Allow Connect Platform equals followed by Xbox. That's it. As soon as you add this line over here, which you'll find down below in the description, to your option settings as such. There's an opening brackets at the very start and a closing one at the very end. Adding this line somewhere within it should allow Xbox players to join your server. Now, unfortunately, the server isn't cross-platform compatible, so it's either going to be without this line or with it set to Steam for Steam players, or it can be the allow connect platform equals Xbox to allow Xbox console players, Game Pass and PC Game Pass players to join it. Anyways, now that we've successfully told our server to run in Xbox mode, we can save this, close this text file, head back to our server, and actually launch it up. Now, at this point, you can open up the Xbox app, followed by opening up PalWorld, which I've had to install on my laptop, it's super unhappy on this PC, and you should be able to join your server now. So, this is the Xbox Game Pass version here, sorry if you can hear my laptop fan, head to Join Multiplayer Game, followed by OK, and in here you can leave it as 127.001.8211 to connect to the server that's running on your local PC, or you can change it to, in my case, the local IP address of my other computer connected to my network in order to join your server. Of course, if you're hosting over the internet, you'll use whatever IP that is. In order to check your local IP, if you're connecting from one computer to another on the same router, simply open up a command prompt, PowerShell or anything window and type in IP config as such. Then you'll see a couple of responses. Look for the way that you're connected to the internet. Look at the IPv4 address. And that's what we'll be entering down here. Again, if you're wondering why I'm going so fast, I've already covered setting up a dedicated server. And this one's purely just a migration guide to set up your own Steam PowerWorld server through normal Steam or Steam CMD, check the description down below. And of course, for a full Xbox dedicated server guide, check the description as well. If we paste it in here and click connect, you should see that we're now loading. And shortly after, assuming I entered the password that was, there we go. I should now be dropped into the server. You can see my account has logged in here. I'll need to create a character. So I'll just leave it as is, start game, join the server, and bam, just like that, with one single line of text changed, our server is now a dedicated Xbox server instead of a Steam server. And of course, if you already made progress on the Steam version of the game, all of that map progress will still be here. It's just that your character won't be able to connect. If you have the game on Steam, you can maybe do some kind of character migration, though moving saves between the Xbox Game Pass and Steam version is very difficult, if not really impossible. Anyways, you now know how to migrate your server from the Steam version to the Xbox Game Pass version. I'll disconnect from my laptop here. And unfortunately, as mentioned previously, you won't be able to join your server using the Steam version. So I'll try now. And instead, you'll get some kind of an error, which in this case, 
this one over here. So it seems like it's just timed out, but that's because it's an Xbox server and not a Steam server anymore. You can see in the top left, it says Steam now. If at some stage you want to convert your server back from an Xbox server to a PC server or Steam server, close your server itself, open up the folder once more, manage browse, PAL saved, config Windows, PAL world settings, and of course, change the allow connect platform from Xbox to just Steam or remove it entirely and starting up your server, you should see that you're now able to join it on the Steam version. And all of the progress that you made on the Xbox version should now be there on the Steam version. Just yet again, your characters will be different as you're playing on different accounts. So join multiplayer game as is, same password, and now we've successfully connected. Sweet. So anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. It's a bit sad that we don't have true cross-platform playing, and it's kind of just one or the other. So hopefully they add that at some stage in the future, even though the Xbox Xbox Game Pass version is just a demo, but anyways, my name's been Troubleshoot, thank you all for watching, and a special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter of mine, I'll see you all next time, ciao.